This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. What I'm going to talk about right now is what we do every month. We're going to talk about the idea that um, uh, our current inventory in single-family homes, right now we have 4,869 homes available. We have 4,483 of them that are under contract, and we have 2,971 that have sold in the last 30 days. That's an absorption rate of 1.64. Again, the absorption rate is the number of months it takes on average to sell a home. So a little less than two months, one in, you know, roughly, it's roughly going to be about 45, 50 days to sell a home right now on average. Um, when you compare that to last month, the numbers are very, very similar. Um, but when you compare it to last year, uh, inventory is still off from last year, but it's up from last month. And this is the second month in a row it's gone up. Um, we're seeing maybe a slight shift in the market where it's not shrinking so quickly. The inventory is maintaining a level here of just under 5,000. Uh, last year was at 5,500. So we're getting close to where we were last year, not shrinking as quickly. Now, some of the other charts I brought with me today, uh, when we talk about absorption rate, which we just discussed, I brought a chart with me now that talks about absorption rate by type, single family home, condos, a high rises, multiple dwelling, and vacant land. And as you look at these these 30 day absorption rates, you'll see how many homes sell within 30 days. 70% of all the single family homes sell within 30 days. 90% uh, of all condos and townhomes selling within 30 days. Land, only 5% of all the listings in land sell within 30 days. Take a look at this chart, you'll be able to compare the various types of homes and what their absorption rates are. As we look at next, we're looking at our stack chart, this thing I bring to you every month. This is how we talk about the volume of activity here in Southern Nevada, uh, in, in the greater Las Vegas area. Uh, and we're a little bit off of last year, too. We're not seeing as much volume as last year. We're slightly behind. The last two months both falling behind last year. So you're seeing that the, the activity is a little, just a little bit less, which thus explains why the inventory is starting to creep up a little bit. Um, and that means it's, it's becoming slightly less of a seller's market. It's, just, it's not dramatic. It's not huge. It's not a big shift. But we're starting to see a small trend. Uh, then I brought three pie charts talking about closing uh, by sold terms in different price ranges. Under 250, you can see the cash and conventional loans dominate there. Um, when we got, talk about 250 to 400, cash takes a much smaller position. Conventional takes up a much bigger position. FHA, VA, about the same in terms of that range. And then when you get to the bigger numbers, when you get to over 400, FHA is non-existent. There is none because their loan levels are much, much lower. VA still does business in that range, and that's an interesting thing. Maybe we'll talk to Leilani about that. But conventional just dominates once you get to that price point. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Thanks for listening, and remember to tune in every Tuesday at 9 a.m. right here on AM 720 KDWN.